What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Stream is Cheaters. Today we're going to be talking about Nick Star again. No, we're not going to be talking about the fact that he's been shadow banned recently, although that might actually play a part in what we're going to discuss today. Today we're going to talk about the fact that people seem to be okay with the fact that Nick Star is using a VPN for bot lobbies. And by people, we're talking about some higher up streamers who think it's acceptable to use a VPN for bot lobbies, which makes you wonder, what else are they okay with? But today, the main focus is going to be on the fact that Nickstar has multiple accounts. We're going to get into that. So, let's crack on with the video. Oh, fuck, 70, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is insane. No. Moving here. No. crazy this is fucking crazy moving here this is fucking crazy <laughs> no i got fucking shadowed are you kidding me so we all remember that this was the account nick star was on when he was dropping his <clears throat> world record gameplay of over 70 kills in what could only be deemed as the bossiest of lobbies you've ever seen right and then all of a sudden he gets disconnected and shadow banned. He states himself he's been shadow banned. Those are the signs of somebody who knows exactly what it's like to get shadow banned, right? He knew instantly what had happened. And well, he's had multiple accounts where this has happened. So we've seen the accounts that he recently dropped the world record on. The name on it was Fear. Now he's actually had another account under the same name. Um, which I believe to be not the same account, just using the same name. Take a look at this clip now. Watching? Oh, they definitely watch. Oh, yeah. Get chat. Other oh, head, other heads. Oh I my got god. Shadowed again. You got shadowed again? I got shadowed again, bro. <laughs> no way. This <laughs> got shadow banned. Uh, Are you actually I'm cheating, though? Good. I'm actually confused. No, I'm not cheating, bro. Now, to anybody watching a live stream or a video and they see him playing on that account, it just looks like the same account, right? And to be honest, there's still a slim chance that it could be the same account, but this puts Nick Star in a catch-22. Now he either has to admit the fact that he's using an unlocker tool on that account, or he admits that he's got multiple accounts with the same name. And there's a reason for that, because the skins that he has on that account, especially when dropping the world record gameplay, well, you can't have them skins at level 1. If your account is only rank 1, how do you get all of those camos for your guns? Because here's proof that that account is only level 1. From the moment he got shadow banned alongside Capture. Pull me out of my game! Bro! What the f***? Oh my f***ing god, bro. Bro, bro, bro! So maybe you're now sat there thinking, well, Nickstar probably just uses a different name in-game. Like, to stop being noticed by wall hackers, maybe? Who knows? But that's not the case, because if you go and take a look at his YouTube channel, you will find multiple videos with different account names. Here's one, for example, with the name Nickstar. Space Star Land Observatory, which usually has a lot of people and easy rotations across the entire map. Now, for the star of the game, your main priority has to be to lose. And even during other videos, we were able to find other variations of the same name. Again, very similar to the Fear situation, where it clearly looks like two separate accounts just using the same name. Check this out. New. No. That's a shitty smoke, dude. So it looks to me like Nick Star is used to getting shadow banned to the point where he's got multiple accounts lined up and ready to go. In fact, there was a little thing said by Capture recently after his shadow ban about getting a new account, but he can't get one until tomorrow. What does that mean? Does that mean he's buying an aged account? Most of those aged accounts come with an unlock service used on them. So if that is the case, then hey, Nick Star's using aged accounts and repeatedly getting shadow banned. And it makes you wonder why on earth he moves on to different accounts. Are those shadow bans leading to perma bans? Or, hey, is it just a VPN that this guy is using? And even if that is the case, are you okay with that? Are you a 1KD player, 1.5, 0.5? 
Well, what happens is these guys using VPN end up breaking their regular skill-based matchmaking and they end up in your lobbies. And that's how they're able to drop high kill games, well, alongside the wall hacks and aimbots, of course. But let's take a listen to what Rapools had to say on the matter regarding VPN and Nickstar. But, in my opinion, like from everything that I've heard from everybody, chat, obviously we're in the scene, we hear shit. N like 95% of the, 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 the Rebirth community can VPNs. Let's just be honest, right? Um, now, do I think he's hacking? No. Do I think he shoots straight? Yes. It, like, yeah, like, that's just, you want me to be transparent and be blunt with you? All the people calling him a hacker and all that shit. I'm like, bro, come on, come on. Uh, but do I think he's VPNing? I don't know. I can't defend my boy. I, I cannot defend him um, because I don't know. But from what I hear, almost everybody fucking does. Um, so, Chad, that's kind of... That's, 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 you know, take it, take it. Chad, take that info how you want. So the whole thing that truly bothers me about this whole ordeal now is the fact that you have people defending somebody when they know full well at least the VPN is being used. Do some digging, do tiniest little bit of research, and you will find all of these inconsistencies, such as the multiple accounts, such as one of those accounts only being a level one, whilst having camos that use this absolutely zero way you could unlock. At having an account at level one, it's like literally impossible, showing signs of an unlocker tool being used. So far, that's VPN and unlocker tool, but wait. These are the two things that people use and claim why they got permabanned, right? I wasn't cheating. It was just an unlocker tool. I wasn't cheating. It was just a VPN. But they are still forms of cheating, whether that be cheating your way through the whole grind for camos, or whether that be cheating your way into bot lobbies to look better than you are. They are still forms of cheating. But then you have people like Rapools willing to sit there and say, don't worry about it, though. Because 95% of the resurgence like, sort of crew are all cheating. Oh, I mean, using VPN. But either way, that doesn't make it okay. That's the whole, if you can't beat them, join them mentality. But they're all doing it, so it's okay. Well, that's exactly what it looks like to us, the legitimate player base, when we look at all of the top streamers in Call of Duty Warzone. Because you're all cheating. But hey, that must mean it's okay then, right? Well, it's not. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads. And if you want to contact me about any streamer, no matter how big or small, hit me up on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. And one last thing before we go. As you guys are aware, I am partnered with Supreme CBD who offer products such as this CBD oil. And honestly, these work a treat. Just before you go to bed, you get a couple of drops in this. Put it under your tongue, very simple to do. And within a couple of minutes, you'll feel more relaxed. Time to go to bed, get your head down, and you will have a brilliant night's sleep. If you want to check it out for yourself, hit the link in the description below. And make sure you use code triple B40 at checkout. Thank you.